I'm David Lacombe, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Alinea Software. T0 project brings together uh, three companies and one uh, leading government research laboratory um, in high performance computing um, to address the energy problem for high performance computing. With the growth of the size of HPC centers, the machines are using an ever increasing uh, amount of energy and this is causing a problem in terms of cost and the ability to actually support those systems. And in this project, we are bringing technology from three different players and performance uh, expertise in the applications uh, to reduce the energy footprint. And we're doing that through um, something which actually fits the acronym very well. It's Total Software Energy Reporting and Optimization. So by bringing together consortium that do data center management and uh, measurement of, of the facilities, a linear software whose performance tools are also able to do energy profiling within the applications, and uh, Embercosm who do compilers and in fact are doing energy efficient compilers that, that can optimize applications for energy usage. Bringing the three of us together brings the energy reporting and optimization and adding that into the application expertise of, of the Hartree Center, we are now able to help to reduce the whole footprint of the high performance computing. Alinea's tools are one of the, the key parts of the project because what they do is they bring data that is coming from the infrastructure through Concertin and uh, from the actual hardware and from inside the applications. We're able to look inside the applications that are running across the, uh, the system and understand to the function level and source lines of, uh, of the actual applications, which bits are actually consuming the energy. And from that, the scientists from Hartree are then able to optimize the, the code to use less energy, and equally the compiler engineers at Embercosm are able to instrument and learn um, how their compiler is doing in terms of optimization and optimize it even better to reduce that footprint almost automatically for the scientists. My name is Michael Rudyard. I'm the CEO and founder of Concertium Infrastructure Management Limited. We're a company operating in the data center infrastructure management space. Uh, we provide software that essentially monitors and manages most aspects of the data center. So we are monitoring uh, areas of the data center from power distribution, cooling, through to environmental factors in the data center. But we also monitor uh, racks and IT equipment within those racks. So our aim is to get an end-to-end -end understanding of the data center and specifically within this project where the energy is going within the data center. So to zero is all about uh, getting information from multiple tools in order to understand the energy profile of applications. Uh, so, um, a couple of the uh, partners are looking at low-level um, issues in terms of application energy us utilization themselves, i.e. what is that application using on the servers themselves. Of course, those partners don't have access to the information about energy, that's the auxiliary energy that's used to support those IT systems. So things like air conditioning units and other pieces of equipment that are necessary in the whole power chain in order to feed those pieces of equipment. And that's what we bring to the project. We're, we can feed in data uh, from our system into those lower level systems in order to get a better understanding of particular high performance computing jobs and what their overall energy footprint is. I'm Jeremy Bennett, I'm Chief Executive of Embercosm. We provide a service developing open source compilers for chip companies around the world. Embercosm's participation is to look at compiler techniques that can be applied to reduce the energy consumption of programs for HPC. So the approach with machine learning is uh, based on the observation that the choice of compiler optimization has an impact on the energy consumed by a running program. The goal is not to invent new optimizations, but to choose the best set of optimizations for any particular program. With hundreds of optimizations you could choose from, each of which can often be parameterized, trying to do this by hand is impossible. So we've taken a machine learning approach, which we pioneered in the Magic project. We run the same programs many times with different options and measure how much energy they consume. And from that data, we can apply a machine learning 
algorithm to associate particular optimizations with particular types of program so that given a new program we can choose the right options for energy efficiency. In this project, because with supercomputers we can't put energy probes inside to measure them, we're relying on our partners Alinea and their MAP product to generate the energy data from the standard counters within processors such as the Intel family. Superoptimization looks at the best theoretical translation of a piece of code. It's a very old technique and because it's an exhaustive search it only applies to very small fragments of code. But that's appropriate for a key central part of any program. It's worth investing the time in that inner loop at the heart of the algorithm to make it go as fast as possible. Super optimization has had a number of implementations over the years, the best known being the GNU Super Optimizer. But because it's an old technique, these have always been single processor implementations, despite it being a very parallel search problem. One of the things that has already come out of this project is a completely parallel implementation, the GNU Super Optimization version 2. And that will allow us to attack much bigger problems. We'll be using super optimization to explore energy efficiency, find the most energy efficient program. And of course, working in HPC, we will be able to run it on very parallel machines to get a great deal of uh, effort put onto the problem. My name's Neil Morgan and I'm Program Manager for the Energy Efficient Computing Program here at the Hartree Centre. Uh, the Hartree Centre has been set up, it was set up in 2013 to act as a bridge uh, between um, the scientific research that STFC does, the Science and Technology Facilities Council, and um, industry within the UK. So the idea is that we're trying to push some of the learning and expertise that we have within the council out into business for, for economic benefit of the UK. In terms of the energy efficient computing programme, we've got four key thematic areas that we're looking at. So we're looking at energy efficient hardware, and predominantly that's around the latest semiconductor technology. We're looking at energy aware management software. <coughs> so this is how we can schedule jobs to run on our large scale supercomputers. We're looking at energy aware infrastructure as well. So within data centres you don't just have the compute, you have all of the supporting infrastructure. How can we manage it and monitor that and make that more energy efficient? And also the, the key piece for us is how can we help application developers to develop more efficient software. So traditionally uh, developers have looked at making their software as performant as possible and that means make it run as quickly as possible so they can get to the solution uh, in the shortest possible time. But what we need to do now, given the scale of machines that we're starting to build, is to try and make uh, software that can run uh, that's highly performant and energy efficient as well.